Yo, what's up? It's your boy Sportsdad. Listen, unfortunately, injuries are a part of the recruiting process. So, A, you want to try to avoid them, and B, if you do get injured, how can you speed up your recovery? We're going to talk about that right now. Before we get started, you already know what we gotta do. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when we're posting new content. And then also to go ahead and subscribe to the channel because that means a lot because there's a lot that goes into posting these actual videos and we go through a lot of research to try to make that happen for you so that we can help you throughout the actual process. Go ahead and like the video and also to share this information because you're not the only one that's finding this information useful. You got friends and family members and moms, aunts and dads and all that good stuff. Make sure that they're getting this information and I make sure that they're plugged into my channel because there's nobody bringing you the recruiting information like I am right at your fingertips and taking you on the inside so you'll know what it's like. As I stated in my intro, unfortunately, injuries are a part of the recruiting process. If you're playing a sport, you're going to deal with an injury in some way, shape, or form. And if you haven't dealt with an injury, thank God. But at some point, you, whether it be a minor or a major injury, you're going to have to deal with it. So taking care of your body is so super important. I did a video some time ago talking about the importance of taking care of your body. So if you want to take a look at that, go ahead and click on that particular icon above. So how do you avoid injuries? Well, I cannot guarantee you that you won't get injured, but I can really show you how to put towards a great effort in trying to avoid injuries. Number one, you gotta make sure that you're eating properly, right? Making sure that you're putting the proper things in your body. You gotta do the research to find out what really nourish the body to get the most optimal performance out of it. So your diet plays a huge part in that. You can't just be chugging a lot of pops and a lot of fast food and things like that and thinking that you're going to be able to perform at an optimal level in some way shape or form that's going to affect your body so make sure that you're eating right another thing is making sure that you properly warm up your body before any athletic event you should be warming up right a lot of people say make sure you go ahead and stretch I think that's incorrect first because guess what you can't stretch a cold muscle right if you haven't really been active that means that your body is not really your muscles is not really warmed up just yet so what you want to do before any type of athletic event make sure that you are warming up first make sure that you're doing your jumping jacks make sure you do a little jog around or something like that uh, for like a minute or two just to get the body going just to get the body warmed up and then after the body is warmed up maybe take like 10 or 15 minutes minutes to stretch there's no rush stretch stretch your muscles because a lot of injuries happen from not properly stretching and number three make sure that you actually get on a some type of weight program so that you can actually strengthen your muscles good calisthenics is always in order and then when you're going into the weight room making sure that you're getting the most out of your workout most of you guys are in high school and you have access to the weight room make sure that you putting in the effort and getting the most out of your workout so that those muscles can get nice and strong. Make sure that you're getting proper sleep. A lot of you guys, you guys stand up all night playing the games and things of that nature, talking to your friends and your girlfriends on the phone and things like that, and you're not getting the proper sleep, but you're thinking that your body is young enough you can carry you over. Guess what? At some point, it's going to catch up with you. Your Sleeping is the most important thing that you can possibly do um, for avoiding injuries and um, repairing your body because sleeping is a great time where your body literally repairs itself if it's getting the proper rest right but if you're not getting the proper rest your body is not properly repairing itself and so um and one of the ways to avoid injuries is proper sleep look it up for yourself i'm telling you i've done my research i know what i'm talking about now, if those are basic fundamentals of, of actually taking care of your body, but today I wanted to share with you some things that professional athletes do to keep their bodies in tip top shape so that they can perform at an optimal level. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, introducing cryotherapy. Now, 
Most of you may think that you're doing some level of cryo because you are taking ice baths and things of that nature. And you go in the ice bath and you can maybe sit in the ice bath for maybe five to 10, 15 minutes or so, right? That is a form of cryo. However, but this form of cryo, which is this chamber that you see, I wanna introduce this to you because LeBron James does this on a regular basis. And a lot of people don't really understand how he's able to endure what he's able to endure and how his body still manages to stay in shape. Well, cryotherapy is awesome. What it is is an actual chamber that has uh, nitrogen that comes out and hits your body at a really, really cold temperature colder than an actual ice bath, which is why you can only do it for like three minutes. If you do it more than three minutes, you probably wouldn't last, you probably would die. But at the end of the day, cryotherapy is really popular at the professional athlete, um, at the professional level. So you're probably wondering like, what is the point in me doing something like that? Well, cryo, cold air, it has a lot of benefits and I encourage you to definitely do your own research on this. Here are some of the benefits of cryotherapy. It can decrease the level of inflammation in the body, right? Inflammation um, happens all the time, but this can decrease the level of inflammation in the body. And it can also encourage better circulation, blood flow circulation throughout your body. And you do not have to be injured to take part in this, right? But if you are injured, what happens is, is that your body thinks that, hey, I'm in trouble because it's experiencing this particular level of cold, right? And so what it does is that it forces all of its resources to uh, get back to the regular normal body temperature. And so what that does is that if you are injured, what it does is that it causes the body to speed up the recovery of the injury. In the Clinton Township area, innovative accelerated recovery is the way to go. And tell my guy Brent that I sent you, he's located on Hall Road and he'll take great care of you. Now let's take a live look and see what cryotherapy is all about. In a t-shirt when she goes in there. Really? And I was like, I'm pretty sure I told her she can take that. Right. Right. So, yep, right over there, right in that corner. Yep. <laughs> Body catcher, slaughter down his soul snatcher. Ain't no regular F-150, this a fucking rapper. No capper, street nigga, not a rapper. Chopper hit him and he turned into a booty clapper. Smith and West End, the vote, they yeah, gang reppin'. We the baptized more niggas than a damn reverend. 30, we've already done 30 seconds. We're gonna do 30 more. Right there. Outside. And he got the double up, drop it outside Check the weather and it's getting real, I'll be outside I'ma try this shit and have these pussy dropping like some motherfucking flies Type of monster, through your right I can see good and I see you better put that fucking Yeah, well that's good Many times, huh? many times Yeah, it's I cold <laughs> It's cold it should be, dude. Because you want it cold as possible. I mean, them boys almost frostbite, ain't they? I know. Yeah. He, look at us. Look at him. He laughs. Look at him. Look at him. He loves the torture. Isn't that right, Brad? It's good for you. Yeah. Turn, bro. Do you supposed to turn? Your last minute. So yeah, you can turn or you can stay no. there. No. Turn. 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 Put your shoulder in, bro. Put your put your shoulder in there. Woo. It's the life you want. Do it takes to be great. Exactly. LeBron does this every day. I'm playing with LeBron. Yeah, you know. 
Two, one, zero. But listen, if you want to know more about the recruiting process and what it's like on the inside, make sure that you tap in with me.